for uh, today's adventure and going into Beit Safafa, which is one of the uh, um, neighborhoods in East Jerusalem. Technically, it's not really East Jerusalem, but it's uh, an Arab neighborhood of Jerusalem, Arab village that was subsumed into the city. And recently, somewhat recently, uh, one of the four mosques in the village of Beit Safafa, the Abdul Rahman Mosque, um, has. <laughs> Here it is, it's quite startling. It's um, a replica sort of of uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. So you can see here it's uh, uh, very eye-capturing. Eye um, according to the Times of Israel, one of four mosques in Beit Safafa, it actually precedes the founding of the state in uh, 1948. And uh, it's being financed by Arabs in the north of Israel and local people funding the mosque. Uh, it also says that unlike the actual Al-Aqsa Mosque, it's not really made from gold plates. Uh, this is just made from, it's painted, but it's still quite uh, breathtaking. So we're going to get closer to the actual mosque. This is the uh, soccer pitch here in Beit Safafa. Uh, quite a big football pitch here. And that's the uh, mosque again. And what's interesting about Beit Safafa, traditionally is considered one of the, I don't know, friendlier is the right word, but kind of less hostile neighborhoods of East Jerusalem. I don't know if that's still necessarily the case, but... Um, it is run through by um, Park Amasila, which is this public park I've talked about on this YouTube channel before. It's a really nice facility um, installed by the Jerusalem municipality, partially along the route of an old train road, and they actually preserve some of the original train track. So this goes through Beit Safafa itself. And um, so at this part of the Park Amasila, it's a mixture of uh, you know Jews and Arabs taking some exercise, jogging, bicycling, and walking along here. So I spoke to um, a couple of locals here. They were telling me that the uh, coexistence between their Jewish neighbors and the areas around here on uh, Moshe Baram Street has uh, historically been very good. They're saying they're, they don't have any difficulties. I spoke a little bit in Arabic. I've been learning Arabic for some years. Uh, I just know the basics, but it's always nice to practice languages. So uh, the guy gave me the number of uh, the local Mukhtar, who's like the village head, and he said he'd be happy to maybe do an interview um, about the mosque. You can see the minaret and the speakers here. 